Welcome to this video presentation on um, discrete systems. In this presentation I'll show you how to implement a discrete system in MATLAB. So at this stage you should uh, have this view of a system as, or well, a discrete system, as being something that will take uh, a sequence of numbers as input. This is our input x of n, so that should be a sequence of numbers, and will produce a sequence of numbers as its output. Okay, um, in this um, demonstration I'm going to show you uh, or work with two examples that you've seen before. So I'll just bring those up. Uh, the first is this very basic uh, discrete system in which the um, input is multiplied by 2 to give you an output. So here's the difference equation for that system. I'm also going to implement the moving averager um, filter that you've seen before, so sorry, uh, I'll, I'll, I've described it as a filter, but um, uh, which it is, but a discrete system is something you're more comfortable with at the moment, so the moving average or discrete system. Um, now the difference equation for the moving average or discrete system is given by this equation, so y of n is equal to 0 0.25 x of n plus 0 0.25 x of n minus 1 plus 0 0.25 x of n minus 2 plus 0 0.25 x of n minus 3. Now I've, I've shown this or this difference equation, so each one of these is a difference equation. Um, but I've shown that this second, this uh, the difference equation associated with this system. I've shown it again. I've rewritten it. I've reorganized all the terms. I've brought the x terms inside a bracket and taking out the common variable of 0 0.25. I I rewrote my difference equation like this, just because it's a little bit more convenient for implementation. Um, now it's worth noting um, that these of course are mathematically equivalent but this dif second difference equation doesn't map so well onto the signal flow diagram that I have. So I'm just going to show you a second signal flow diagram which behaves in exactly the same way um, but is mapped better to the second difference equation that I have here. So here we go. Uh, so this is this alternative um, signal flow diagram for the moving averager. For a, a particular sequence of numbers into this system you'll get the same sequence of numbers out. So this signal flow diagram is exactly the same as the other one and I'll just switch this off again. So they're exactly the same in terms of behaviour but they're just laid out a little bit more differently. Okay, um, But let's get on to implementing our discrete system. and. Um, what you need to know about implementing a discrete system is that it boils down, and it's worth writing this down, it boils down to solving the difference equation. So if you have the difference equation, implementing a discrete system becomes quite straightforward. Uh, so it, it equates to solving the difference equation. That's what it boils down to. Um, now, me solving this difference equation means solving it for different values of n. So we'll just say for different values of n. So we have the variable n in the, all the difference equations. So you want to find y0, y1. So you're substituting for n equal to 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, for as many output samples as you wish to do, wish to solve. Okay, But this is what it boils down to. So let's switch over to MATLAB and show you how you might solve these difference equations for different values of n. Okay. Um, so what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to use a function um, to, to solve my difference equation. So I'm hoping that you're, you're comfortable with um, functions now and you've gone through the various MATLAB tutorials. Um, not my function, my discrete system. So I, I've prepared one earlier on and here's my discrete system uh, function and it has one parameter x coming into the function and it's returning a parameter y from the function. So I know there's a bit of programming terminology there but um, you hopefully you will be comfortable with it at this stage. So, so whenever I'm implementing a difference equation or a discrete system because they're they're both effectively the same thing. A difference equation is a mathematical representation of a discrete system. Uh, I generally start with the uh, equation. So y of n is equal to 2 times 
x of n. 2 by x of n. So there's my difference equation written out. Now it's worth noting that I have the rounded brackets of course in MATLAB notation which is different from the um, standard uh, mathematical notation of course. So um, now what I want to do is solve this difference equation for different values of n. Now the way I would do this in MATLAB is to use a for loop. So I'm just going to go for shouldn't be capitals, for n equal to um, now ideally I'd like to solve for n equal to 0 if I was dealing with a mathematical equation but I've, I've mentioned this before MATLAB doesn't have or doesn't use an index of 0 um, it'll only allow indexes of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 so I have to start off at 1 and I want to solve this difference equation if I wanted to solve it for um, for n equal to 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Say I just wanted to solve for 5 values. I could just put 5 in here and put end down there. Okay, So that would basically this, this little piece of code here would loop through the difference equation solving it for different values of n and n would be incremented every time it went through the for loop. So each time we go through the loop n would change. So first time through the loop n would be 1 and I might just copy this into a, an area. Okay, uh, so the first time through the loop, uh, n will be equal to 1. So we'd be solving y of 1 is equal to 2 times x of 1 the first time through the loop. Uh, the second time through the loop, we'd be solving y of uh, 2 is equal to x of 2. Okay, um, and so on. And we do that five times. Now just switching back, um, and we'll just go back into this, there we go. Um, now really I want to solve it for, well one way, you can specify the number, but I'm going to specify that I'm going to solve it for as many input samples that I pass to the function. So I'll put length x, okay? And that is my little piece of code which gets the computer to solve my difference equation for different values of n. That seems quite straightforward. So I'm going to switch back into MATLAB now and run the function. So I'll create an example uh, sequence of numbers. I'll just use a few values. There we go. In fact I'll just make it that number of values. Okay, so then y is going to be equal to my discrete system and I'll pass that function the input uh, values to my system, okay, which are, are stored in the variable x, and that'll work out y. So we can check out what y is. It's those sequence of numbers. And x is these sequence of numbers. And if we look at them, we can see that, um, well, that's my first output, which is Mathematically we'd label it as y0 and mathematically my first input is x0 so we can see that the first output is equal to twice the first input likewise the second output is equal to twice the second input and each one of these is twice the corresponding input value so uh, we can see that that's fairly straightforward but that is in essence how you would implement any discrete system um, on in a computer program. Okay, um, so now there are I have to say there are quicker ways to do it in MATLAB, um, and there's also built-in functions in MATLAB that can really do this very very quickly. And I, I think I've shown one earlier on. In fact, there was a function called filter, but it, really to understand how a discrete system can be implemented on, on, in any language. Um, or on, say for example, if you wanted to implement it on a microcontroller, this view of the discrete system, I'll just bring back up the, uh, this view of the discrete system here uh, is, is a better one to have, okay? So it's a more general way that we can implement um, discrete systems. Okay, so uh, I'll, I'll leave the, um, the, the uh, moving averager implementation until the next presentation. Uh, I'll see you then.